This is where you start. The way you want to recover on the ice is very simple. Your foot faces the player, right? That's not the player, that's the player. Now your hands, are you getting up like this and then catching it, which is why you miss it sometimes, or are you getting up like that, okay? I want you guys to bring your chin, right? The chin is on the ball the entire time. Get him ready. There we go, just like that, simple. We're gonna do a little bit of meditation. On your back, I want your palms to face the ceiling. Close your eyes and just think about your breathing. That's it. A three phase warm up. We're gonna line up at the goal line over there. We're gonna destroy this ice with good edge work. When you guys are sprinting, we don't really hear it. The feet absorb the impact. So here, the edges absorb the impact. So if I skate hard, you can hardly hear it as I go. Right? That's how it should sound. So if you're the goalie doing this, learn to grab the ice instead. Quiet feet and go from there, right? Go! That's it, good. We're doing right leg C cuts all the way to the blue line, quick demo. We get our hands up, hard C's. Once you get to the line, stop, turn, switch legs, right leg. We're doing both legs. Notice how he's not gonna come up in height. He's gonna stay low, nice and strong, and then back. Notice how he's not coming up, right? He's not coming up the whole time. Go ahead, boys. Your skating's unreal, your skating's unreal. Now focus on your hands, get those hands in front. More like this. So you guys don't wanna go too wide when you're doing any kind of C cuts, right? Because too many of you guys are looking like this. It's too wide and there's no power. Now there's lots of power, right? Same thing going backwards. On this drill, no, yes. Nice and tight, right? So let's try it again. Yep. Hands up, hands up, Cameron. Don't come up, don't come up, stay the same height. There we go, better, better. Okay, water. Who gave up on a puck that could have been saved because they were out of breath? Who did that, right? That's the most unfortunate way to get scored on, right? So the more you guys work on being efficient, the better. We call this the 101 drill. Player enters the zone, you're gonna see cut out and challenge them. Now everybody stare at the skates, look how tight it is, go. Player passes across, you're going to work on your T-push. Player walks to the middle, you're going to follow him all the way. And then, once we finish this, we will do the same drill with the shots, and then you would make a save at this potion, follow the rebound, okay? No, no, get your depth. Yes. Yeah, nice. That feel better? Right, you're more controlled. We play every single rebound. So if you guys make a good save, goes in the corner, 
maybe a C cut, right? And if it's a bad save, it lands in front, right up, and then that's when you guys can come in and take a second shot. There's no duking. Switch, switch. This is 102. Your skates are on the goal line. We're working on recoveries now. So be, we want you to be deep because I want you to eventually be top of the crease. Right? Once he gets to the top, I shoot a puck at the same motion. Right? That was even better. We want you guys to try to stop as much as you can. No goals. No goals. Right? That's it and one, oh boy. One more. And up, 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 up. See, great stance. You'd be making way more saves that way. Gabriel with the windmill, it's not Wednesday. You guys look good, you guys look really good. Now what we have to focus on is our feet. So we're doing a power slide drill. We're going from one side of the ice or one side of the net to the other side of the net, a power slide, right? Go, hard stop, push, hard stop, push. I had a shot. The main reason we slide is because of time. If the puck is here, do we have time? Yeah. From here? You have time to do what? To get up and set and relax? No, power push. No, it's a power push. If the puck's over there, you have time, right? So time and space. A player is not gonna drive as hard as he can to get across. He'll probably let his other player pick it up and they will reset. Give me a set before you push, go. Push, set. That's it, look over there. We're gonna work on rebounds one last time. You're gonna start on one side of the net. This time you're gonna face diagonal as if the player shot here. Let's do a demo. Ready? Yep. You really have to push with purpose, okay? Very simple drill. Let's get into it. Go ahead, boys. Play, 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 play. Play, play, get up. Last one. Play it! Play it! Play it! Hey! Where's, where's the cover up? You should have had it. Nice. Whistle, bring it in. Who made a small adjustment and it made a huge difference in their play? Who made a small adjustment, right? Small adjustments is the reason why goalie schools exist. So if you don't work on them, then you're wasting your time and my time, right? You guys did a good job of, of, of spending your time wisely this, today. Let's come back tomorrow with that. Before we go, we're doing goalie face-off. I have a puck in my hand. If I fake it and you drop, you're out. Otherwise, you want to drop when the puck hits the ground, right? All ready? Yeah! Left, two, three. 
Ooh. There it is. Jump. Quicker, quicker, you're out, quicker. Ready, speed round, as fast as possible. Let's go. Jump. Oh, nice. There it is. Yeah. Woo! That was a good one. That was a good one. One, two, three. Oh, All saves. Nice.